I welcome everyone today to another exciting episode of mineral mining in Nigeria. As you all know, this is a channel we've actually tried to put in place to make sure that everything that has to do with mineral mining, the science of mineral mining, it actually is great. So I urge most of our practicing geologists, geophysicists, earth related practitioners, students to actually take advantage of this and um, acquire some practical knowledge and also know the latex that happens in industry. My name is N.C. Gideon. N.C. Gideon is a geologist, geophysicist and a mine planner. Okay, today we are looking at geometric system. Geometric system is a new system that is actually used for ART, IP, SP imaging in mineral industry. Over the years, I've actually used this for closely to two years. So I think it's something that is very interesting and I want to bring it to, to most of us that are actually working in Nigeria to make use of these equipment. It's very versatile. It's very easy to use and all that. So let's go straight and see some of the exciting features of this equipment. Um, it's actually produced by Geomotive Company. Geomotive Company is uh, located in China and also in Canada. In producing this equipment, they've tried to use a modern cutting edge, looking at what we have before and what is existing. So they've actually tried to make sure that this equipment is affordable, it's flexible to use in terms of fuel practices, it doesn't require so much, it's highly automated, it doesn't require so much for you to do in terms of fixing and um, putting everything together in the field. Third one is that in terms of result, it's, it's, the resolution is very, very interesting, it's very, very high. Now this is 14.78 at 87 ID. Then we can remeasure again. Uh, if we remeasure again, we can get. Let's see what we can get. Initially we got 14.78 and the chargeability 0.23. We are using 900 volts and two amps. So let's see what the reading gives us you see we have, still have the same reading 14.78 and 0.23 so that will tell you the precision of the kind of equipment you are dealing with that is second reading then let's remeasure it again now the third time and see the precision and also sustainability and durability of the, this equipment is actually assured now look at the 12 great features I have actually seen in this equipment. Number one is, as I explained, it's good for ERT, it's good for induced polarization, and it's good for SP. So most of all that are in the mineral industry know what it means when we're talking about SP, IP, and all that. But the most interesting one is the induced polarization, which actually makes use of the capacitive action of the ground to give you um, uh, the subsurface uh, and my characteristics. Second one is it's high power and high precision in terms of uh, power range that you can use to work in the field. The another one of it is that the system is built in um, in one unit. The transmitter and the receiver are actually used uh, uh, built together. So issue of portability, we can't. Uh, be carrying the transmitter and be carrying the receiver and other so some of these things are considered in building this system another one is the cabling system it's very easy you have a centralized system of cabling system so it's very easy and flexible to work to work in the field with the cabling system it comes with another one is the unique schooling technology for some of us that have a very low budget we can instead of buying so many wires and all that you can buy um um, a smaller wire based on your budget and you can use the scrolling technology you can see look at this you can use the scrolling technology to actually cover your profile length another one is the data management platform it comes with a specialized software 
for data management and analysis um, uh, so that you can actually transfer your data when you finish in the field you can actually transfer your data to your system and you can um, uh, start up with your with your data processing and interpretation it has some built in built gps you don't need extra gps to know your location when you are you are you are setting up this equipment it has multi electrode cables multi electrode cables grounding test grounding test is another interesting feature that i've seen with this equipment grounding text before you commence applying any data you have to make sure that your grounding resistivity is to the normal so it's not an issue of acquiring data without knowing your surface ground um, uh, your surface resistivity most of the time it can introduce noise or make most of the surface resistivity very very high so looking at your surface um, uh, grounding test you be able to see where that is actually high where it's not actually contacting very well you can reduce it by adding some salt solution or water another one is the usb ports most of the data transferred are actually done within usb all of us know that usb is very common then another one is the real time data as you are working you are seeing your data being plotted in the field the window evaluation window is very interesting you can look at this window here you can look at this you can look at this you can look at it so you you can see real time data as it is going you don't need to transfer to system before you understand that there are some issues so as it's going data that have been acquired you can go to evaluation window and uh, assess what is going on from there if there are some issues or mistakes you can easily adjust hash weather in terms of hash weather this system can accommodate hash weather it can accommodate up to 45 degrees um, uh, centigrade and up to minus minus 10 to minus 15. next one is most of the field abnormalities we normally see uh this equipment is actually equipped with them which include the open circuit prompts can up tell you when the, any circuit is open in the field the problem of ground resistance actually equipped with this equipment over current voltage protection all these are major features that you can see that this equipment is equipped with in terms of charging abnormalities you can prompt you when there are some issues why you are charging the equipment then let's look at the accessories that this equipment comes with uh one we see this is the multi-cable you can see the way the multi-cable is made in this 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 is a cl10 cable the cl10 cable has a double um, um, positions for connection so you can connect your resistivity and your potentials at the same like each anyone depending on how you want to go about it the next one is the non-porous port this is the non-porous port you use it for the positive and the negative the cable leader this is the the real guy in this in the whole play the cable leader is is like the switcher it is the cable leader that tells it that transfers the data from one electrode from one position to the next position instead of what human being does like in the old 1d equipment you see four guys trying to to transfer electrodes from here to there from down to down and all that once you set up the this is highly automated system you don't need to start transferring and moving and move you move you can set up half a kilometer at once you can set up a kilometer at once once you finish the setup you don't need to touch anything on the data acquisition comes to completion the next one is the steel electrode the steel electrode is equipped with well uh, connecting uh, cables and a very, very good uh, clip you look at the power solutions these are not that way um, uh, where the gd gd10 or gd20 are actually done something very interesting the power solutions here are in different categories you can have power solutions of 145 voltage that of 450 and that of 5000 so this depends on what you are doing if you actually someone who is um, uh, into 2d or 3d data acquisition 
you must need something of GP5000. GP5000 AX is the rectifier. Is the, the rectifier you connect this to your generator? This is actually used for 1D or for resistivity. You can use this for resistivity or ART imaging if you are dealing with 2, 2D. But if you are dealing with induced polarization, induced polarization requires so much current and so much voltage. So you must acquire GP5000. Next is the protective box 6 and other accessory. There are so many other minor accessories that this equipment actually comes with. Now, the supported arrays, there are major supported arrays. We know um, the dipole dipole, it supports so many arrays, but the major ones, we have to show you dipole dipole. We talk about the winner arrays. The winner arrays are well supported by this system. The pole dipole, for somebody that wants to probe deep, depending on your target, you can use pole dipole to probe deep. The dipole dipole is actually good for vertical resolutions, while when can be very good for horizontal resolution. So it depends on your target. If you are looking at a dike or you are looking at a seal or you're just looking at formation characterization. Next one is the slumbeja. Slumbeja, we have when a slumbeja for some of us that want to do the, 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 the profiling or you want to do on the um, uh, survey. So you can use your slumbeja to go very, very deep. So this is the four major arrays that are actually supported by digs. We all know that winner have alpha, beta, and gamma. So it depends on the kind of winner you want to run. Whether alpha, whether beta, or gamma is actually supported. So these are other kind of supported array configuration that is used by this uh, uh, system. The winner slumbeja, the edge gradient, the dipole pole, the pole pole, double side 3P, cross hole dipole, customize arrays. For some of us that want to do remember, customize their own arrays, you can go ahead and customize the arrays within this system. You can see the 1D, as we've said, this is just the setup, what it looks like setting up your 1D. Then you talk about 2D, is equipped with both centralized cabling and distributed cabling system. So it depends on what you want to do, it depends if you're actually working in a very complex geology, you can apply any of this cabling system. This is the setup of what 2D looks like in the field. You can see the centralized system here. Another, you can see this is different. You can see this also is different. So this depends on what it's suitable. For example, if you are looking for a target, your target, and you know the where your target is likely to be, you can start from the middle or the exact place you think that your target will be. Because if you're using something like two, I mean, 2D double dipole, your target will be well resolved if the your if it is found at the middle of your profile so that's why this is unique system for you to know what to deploy at any particular point in time next one is the third um, the 3d ERT ip profiling you can see what it looks like so this is a setup also if you don't want to use this kind of setup you can do your 2d and finally convert it to to 3 um, to 3d the applicability of this involves resource prospecting. You can use it in underground water detection. You can also use it in engineering geology um, survey. You can use it in environmental studies of any kind. You can deploy it in ge geological mapping. You can also deploy it in metal and non-metal mineral search. Every kind of uh, mineral prospecting, you can actually deploy this equipment. Cave exploration, you can also do that. Most of us here actually in Nigeria are not um, mainly into the, but in some other foreign countries, cave is one of the major problems. If, if you must build anything, be it uh, infrastructure, I mean, um, building, high, uh, high rising buildings or road, you need to explore for any form of cave. Slope failure detection also, this is very good. Now, I want to show us some of the case studies we've done in Nigeria using this equipment, some of the results we've actually obtained so far. There are so many we've tried, we've done, but uh, we've done more than 10 projects using this system. And the result is very interesting. You know, um, this is a case study where we try to 
we worked with this system this is high peaks of air with 3d at some certain depth of 44 you can see the depth here the depth is at 44 to 54 we are trying to look at this structure and this structure also correlates with the microgravity and the ground magnetic result that was actually done in that location we can see look at the structure here and look at the ground magnetic that was actually carried out this detects the ground magnet uh, detect the same thing correlates with this result and also correlate with this result so these are the major target areas that was actually shown but this was a complement so there were three geophysical methods was actually employed here the next one let's look at the leg zinc a project we conducted somewhere lower benny trough you can see a unique anomaly here it resolved the suffix where this is the, uh, the IP and this is the resist resistivity. So it resolved the suffix. It shows clearly that nothing of IP anomaly within the depth of uh, 20 meters in this particular region. And it correlates also with the resistivity here. So this shows our swamp. This is the target where we are looking at. Also in this uh, surface section, you can see targets also here then another case is resource delineation in terms of our resource delineation we used this equipment and this is the kind of model we got at the end of the day uh, also we have actually applied this in structural mapping structural mapping gave a very good result this is the 3d of the entire place also, we've employed this in uh, depth characterization. It was a very wonderful result. Also, got in here, you can look at this. We use depth slicing methods to actually obtain these models. But the real data and everything was acquired using these equipment. There are some after sales you can have if you purchase this equipment. 24 months of warranty is there. Technical support within it has. You can be given remote technical support. Upgrades, you have free, you have access to free upgrade within three years, and also technical support and training. You can actually be trained when you actually acquire this equipment. So I'll say that so far the experience from the equipment from the system is very, very good. It can provide so much solution to some of us that are in the mineral industry and the water industry, in the geotechnical industry, and in the environmental studies. So I will, I will employ us to look at this equipment. In case you want to purchase it, you want to hire it, you want training on it, this is the contact. You can go ahead and contact us for further inquiries. We can give, um, uh, give you more insight on the equipment. We've been conducting different workshops in different universities before the pandemic came up. But at this time, we we'll try to do open up these channels to be able to reach so many people, disseminate the information as much as you can. Also, we want to thank you for watching, for updates on the science of minerals and mining in Nigeria. Please make sure you subscribe to our channel, Mineral Mining on YouTube. Thank you and have a blessed day.